Hello everyone, welcome to Geometry Nodes in 3.0. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make this endless blooming of flower effect. So, let's get started. First, what we are going to do is clear this scene and add in a new plane right here. Select new for the new geometry nodes. And what we're going to do first is add in a curve primitive line right here. This is what we're going to be instancing a ton of leaves onto. So let's use a resample curve node to get a lot more points on this curve. There we go. And let's instance the curve on the points using the instance on points node. For the sake of time, I'm going to be using the leaf that I already made. And if I take a look at this leaf, we can see that it's not very complex geometry. It's just that with a, sub, a solidify and subdivision surface modifier. Nothing too complicated, but just for the sake of time, I'm not going to be recreating it. So once we have this, we can start affecting the rotation, scales, all that good stuff. So first, what we are going to do is affect the scale. So to do that, we are going to use the curve parameter right here. And then we are going to use a utilities float curve. There we go. And if we plug this into the scale, we can see that as it goes along this line, it gets bigger, but we want to edit that. So with this float curve, we are going to put this part down and this middle part up so that we get something more like this. It's kind of bowed in the middle, which is exactly what we want. Next, what we are going to be doing is affecting the rotation. For with this, we are going to use the index. There we go. And then a vector math node right here, set it to multiply. And then we are going to plug this into the rotation. Now, if we move the Z axis right here, we could see that we start getting a pattern already. And if you're wondering why the petals are rotating away from the center, it's that this leaf is offset from the center. This helps with to avoid clipping and stuff like that. So if you're having problems with clipping, just move your leaf out a bit more and it should fix most of that. So now that we have this, uh, how do we get to animating this and making it loop? Well, the simple way to do that is by using a math node add and then a fraction node afterwards. There we go. And if we animate this using hashtag frame, oop, hashtag frame divided by 24, we could see that this is now kind of looping, but the leaves aren't moving. Well, that's because we need to make the position dependent on this information. So we need to do a few things first. First, what we want to do is capture the curve attribute, because if you start moving a curve with this non-captured, it starts glitching out a bit, which is unfortunate, but it's what we have to do. So add an end attribute capture node, plug that into here, and put this over to there, and this will be attached to the curve line so that it won't get all glitchy later on. Next, what we want to do is set the z-axis here to 0.001, because that also causes glitches. But as we could see, everything's down here. And what we want to use is a set position node to make it so that the position will be back to normal and also loop. So if we use a vector math multiply node, we could see that if I plug that in there and that into there, set this back to one, I believe. As we could see, this is now looping almost perfectly. Let's set this to subtract to make this a bit better. And yeah, maybe let's slow down a bit because it might be a little hard to see on the recording. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. That's pretty good. We could see this is a nice pattern in and of itself, and it could be an entire effect by itself. But let's go along with the regular tutorial. Let's add in some frames just so that uh, we can organize this a bit more. Let's put that right there. That seems all good. Always organize your nodes because things get really out of hand if you do not. Uh, yeah, and the rotation right here. So what we want to do next, and this is almost the final part of the effect, is affect this rotation so that the flower opens up over time. So to do that, we are going to pause the animation, put in a utilities rotate Euler node. Let's put this right over here. We want to set this to local and the axis angle, I think, to the Y axis. We could test this real quick. Yes, there we go, it is rotating correctly. Now to affect this according to our little looping mechanic, we could use a utilities map range node. Uh, where's the map range? Utilities map range, there we go. And if we hook that into there, we could see that 
It is now being affected, but not in the way that we want. What we want to do is set this to something to like negative 1.5. That seems to be the mathematical right way to do it. And as we could see, it is working. Almost, almost. It needs a little bit of tweaking. So let's go into the tweaking process. Let's move this down a little bit to make it more flowery. And uh, if we add in some more counts to it, some more points, you can see that the effect is getting better and better. And just a little bit more tweaking. I think this set closer to one looks good. Ah, there we go. And that is basically the entire effect. Uh, for the shading, I'll just go over the shading really quickly. Uh, I just take the position of the this right here, the Y position, add in a blue gradient, then I hue shifted it because I thought purple looked better. I plugged that in there and then it looks like that. There was no bump noise stuff, so I'll delete that. There we go. And that is basically the entire effect. Let's see what this looks like with other colors, actually. Let's plug in the more brownish burgundy. That looks pretty good, more like a, a dark evil flower. But let's go back to the purple. But yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Gumroad, and I don't have a Patreon yet. I need to set that up one day. But yeah, check out Gumroad page, like, subscribe, all, good, all that good stuff. Let's see, I think that's everything. And yeah. Tell me what you want in the next tutorial, and I'll see you next time.